yesterday would be a quiet day for the fundraising. It wasn't. You kindly donated over a thousand pounds. What am I doing? I'm raising money from Sister White. She was the kindest, loveliest, warmest person I've met in my life. She really was. Right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about a team. Okay, I picked up in year nine. I picked them up when I was really young. I picked them up when I was 28, clearly, clearly a long time ago. <laughs> they were athletics, they were athletic, they weren't highly skilled. We did lots of work on basics, fitness, and organization. If you enjoyed it, if you liked my time, if I made a difference to your team, make a difference to my life, just get clicking, boys. Um, please, lads, get the rest of the boys to get clicking too. Second team. We started really well. We won a trophy in year seven. The 15 North Somerset champions, uh, under 16 Army 10s, under 16 um, County Cup final, nil nil. What a game. If you enjoyed it, if you liked the tour, if you liked the fun we had, if you liked all the panther we had, all the great times we had, please donate, boys. This is the deal. Right, donate. If you can, share the video if you can. Send me raffle prizes, decent ones. Uh, anything will do. If you have enjoyed what I've said, if you enjoyed my company, what I have loved doing is sitting up with a beer every night this week, reading your messages. Message me, tell me what you enjoyed, tell me why you enjoyed it, and I will message you back. Right, gonna knock out some press ups, shoulders a bit sore, just 25 normal press ups. Have a great night in, folks. Cheers. That's been a really good day. Fundraising's gone brilliantly well. Uh, raised two grand, takes up to about £6,000. Lots of uh, publicity with video, etc. Fantastic. I've had fantastic loads of offers of um, prizes for the raffle, etc. Loads and loads and loads of lovely messages. I spent till two o'clock last night answering messages, talking to people. Okay. Grief is a very, very complicated process, it really is. My favourite grief post, uh, quote is that grief changes us, it carves us into different, often kinder creatures and I try to be kind. The first thing is this, um, we were always unlucky with injuries and refs and unavailabilities, you really were. Great side, we had two good tours to North Wales. Um, just unfortunate, the toilet paper fight, lads, is worth 10 pound at least. That took me a long time to clear up. Second team, if you've got a massive pack, which we did have, you need a dominant nine. The nine for that team, he was chippy, he was aggressive. He had the worst case of small man syndrome. If you like training, lads, if you like fun, if you like tours, if you like the crack, get your hands in your pockets, lads, please. Phone or Zoom your brothers and sisters tonight because you're about to see 112 kilos do press-ups over there. And you're thinking, 112 ki 12 kilos? You're not that fat, Dave, are you? Well, I nearly am. I've let myself go, I'm 100 kilos. But with this on, I'm 112 kilos. Watch out, Grandad, get the defib ready. Have you got 999 on speed dial? Who knows what's going to happen? If I'm back tomorrow, brilliant. If I'm not, it's been nice knowing you. That wasn't fun. Please reward me, get donated. Why is there a fat man in the conservatory? I'm raising money for my wonderful sister. Why's he got his shirt off? Well, I don't like tattoos, okay? But I had one made last summer, I had one done last summer, as a permanent reminder of a fantastic person in my life. Now, that's enough breathing in, give me two seconds to get my shirt on, don't go away. My sister Dawn uh, passed away 12 years ago at the age of 45. The loveliest, kindest, warmest, most generous person, unbelievable company, unbelievably a fantastic host. I uh, emailed my dad yesterday, I told him how much we'd raised, etc. Um, he's 83, my dad, um, he's with my mum. She's 84, my mum has pretty poor dementia, or very bad dementia. Things aren't really brilliant for them. I'll give him a little bit of focus this week, okay? And he sent back to me the loveliest message, but that's not very emotional, you know? He's pretty, not hard in a hard way, but he's pretty emotional, he's pretty, pretty unemotional, he's pretty direct. He just said to me, I don't know how I produce two such special children. Really, really, really got to me, it really did. What can you do, okay? You can look after yourself in the sun, you can get your sun cream on, you can get your miles looked at. You bought boys like me, you can get your hats on, okay? In those dark year times, in those 12 years, coming to work gave me focus. Coming to work helped me get out of my head and coming to work three days after my sister passed away and picking up that team of boys. It made me want to live, it really did. So I'm thanking you, all of you involved with Clevedon, Clevedon School, I really am. I couldn't just pick a team, okay? So I picked a touring squad, old school tour. We're gonna have some fun, we really are, okay? Director of Rugby Me, of course it is my tour. For the team, that starts the first game. 
Loose head, Tom O'Connell, a block of a man. Hooker, Bellas. Tight head, Bennett. He's moved over for me, he's going to bulk up for it. Second row, jump in two, Butland, jump in four, Cooper. Back row, Adam Livingston at six, have him get fit. Uh, seven, Joe Williams and captain. Eight, Catty. Nine, Dan Philby. Ten, and vice captain, Dom Hanley. On the left wing, Lee Hughes. Inside centre, Carpenter. Outside centre, Hanley. Right wing, the king of the tackle, Levers. Full back, the king of the step, Towsy. I'm first of all nominated to anybody I've taught. If I taught you maths, I've taught you PE, I've, I've taught you sports science. If I got you that maths grade, if you liked my lessons, because we have fun, yeah? If I helped you to count, if I've coached you in any sport, if you like training in the gym when there were 27 boys there training, whatever. If I've ever coached you, that's the girls too. Think about finding me some money. Any parents who I've taught, any parents whose kids I've taught, I've actually taught some parents, had some grandparents, but there you are. If I've taught your kids, okay, if I've given them focus, if I've given them values, if I've given them direction, if I've got them their job, if I've got them their GCSE, if I took them away for a week of tour and you had a nice quiet time or even a weekend, find me some pennies, please. If you love your family, if you love spending time with your family, if you've actually discovered your lockdown, you really like your family, yeah? If you don't want your family to be taken for their time, whatever, find me some money, please. If you've been touched by cancer in some way, okay, such a sensitive topic, it's an indiscriminate disease, it's a killer, it rips families apart. This money could go towards someone not getting a melanoma, it really could. And also, anybody that's lost somebody like I have. My two, they lost their Auntie Dawny. Remember, kids, uh, nothing will prepare you for how much you love your own children. Nothing will, okay? But the final person is me, okay? I'm gonna stick a massive check in because she was my sister, okay? And um, for the messages and the feedback, etc., I'm obviously not a bad teacher. I'm obviously not a bad bloke. I'm obviously not a bad mate, and I'm obviously um, not a bad dad. Okay. Last one tonight, I'm done. Okay, there's literally one minute and 20 to go. Please, please, please stay with me. In the future, we're doing a golf tournament. We're gonna do this raffle auction. Uh, I'm gonna run a half marathon. Yeah, I am, I know, uh, October. Okay, we're gonna have a massive rugby tournament next summer, uh, next April. We're gonna have a marquee on the rugby club. We are, yeah, hug your loved ones close to you. Tell them, you love them. I'm kind of at a place now, okay, where, and this is the loveliest quote, I will always have this piece of my heart that smiles when I think of Dawn. Right, I'm doing the press-ups now. 25 has been hard, okay? I'm doing 45 now, I'm doing 45 press-ups. Why? Because Dawn lived on this earth. She was about just making people happy for 45 years. These press-ups are for you, Dawn. You lot, get donating. Maybe more in the locker. Final, final, final day, I absolute promise. Right, still after five things, donations, raffle prizes, messages, um, uh, shares, etc. And also um, giving you the awareness to get your hats on, get your sun cream on, look after yourself. Right. Oh, I'm very, 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 very nearly done rambling. Okay, I want those five things again. I want monies, money, I want uh, donations, I want raffle prizes, I want publicity for my cause, etc. Um, I want you to message me because that matters to me. No end. I've had so many lovely messages. And I want you boys and girls, when you go out in the sun, to look after yourselves. Yeah, when this lockdown nonsense ends and we're out and we're having a few beers and it's sunny and we think I'll put my sun cream on later, put it on now, put your hat on.
okay? Why? Because I promised my sister Dawn three things. I promised her I would look after her kids, and I've done that. I promised her I would never let them forget her, and I've done that. And I promised her I would raise awareness. Now, it's taken me 12 years, okay? She would expect it to take me 12 years, okay? But I know she's looking down up there now, okay? And this is, I firmly believe this, whatever you believe, with a glass of red wine, okay? People that know her, lipstick everywhere. She's looking down and she's saying, thank you, David. And she's saying, you know, all those cards that I bought because you forgot, all those cards I signed for you, all those lifts I gave you, um, all those nurses' parties I got, got invited to, all those times when I was a brilliant sister, okay? This is what it's all about, okay? If you work hard, you genuinely can achieve anything. 500 plus people have donated money. Hundreds of people have sent lovely messages, okay? Because hopefully in my 27 years at Clevedon and my five and a half to go, I've influenced your lives. I've made your lives different, okay? I've made you better people. You've made me a better person. If you possibly can, find some money. Just find some money for me. Now this could ramble could only end one possible way and this is it. Yep, you've heard of a mic drop. That's a key drop, cheers.